Is NASA right here to be focusing on the moon instead of Mars at this moment? Well, so as you rightly mentioned, the budget's out and it really emphasizes the moon over everything else. I think that um, the administrator said very clearly that this is um, a stepping stone. So the moon is seen as a staging area. It's a place for us to test out the technology um, that we need to go to Mars. And that is still the horizon goal, but the moon is much closer. Um, it allows us some big wins early on and allows us to develop the technology that we'll need to go to Mars eventually. Is there anything in particular that we will learn from the moon itself, though, that we don't already know, as opposed to deep space, space exploration, which arguably, you know, there's more to know? What it, it allows us to test the technology that we're going to use to go to Mars. So um, as investors in this uh, space economy, it's really important that NASA is going to be partnering with the private sector in a much bigger way. Um, and that was the highlight of, of the announcement today. And so um, there's a number of companies that are, are working to put a, a lunar gateway um, in the orbit of the moon that's going to um, allow us to do a number of different things. One, it's going to help develop the launch sector um, that's going to go out farther beyond just low Earth orbit. It's going to allow us to develop the landing technology to go from orbit and to the surface. And in ad addition, there's a number of companies that are already working on technology um, that's being funded by CLIPS, the Commercial Lunar Payload Services Program, uh, that's two and a half billion dollars over the next 10 years. That's funding a number of small and medium-sized landers that are going to go directly to the lunar surface. So what this allows us to do is really test out the landing technology um, and the technology that we need to sustain a presence around another planetary body. Um, and in addition, the moon acts as a fantastic launch point um, to go out into deeper space missions. There's no, uh, the gravity environment on the moon is much less, and so to be able to launch from the moon to deeper space is much easier. Now, we often focus on SpaceX, which is working towards getting a human uh, into space for the first time since, since NASA paused the space program. But what are these other smaller companies that are playing a critical role here that we need to know about? Yeah, so there was 300 million set aside for the larger human landers. Um, that's the type of thing that SpaceX and um, Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin are developing these larger landers to take the humans. Um, but to get started, um, this, this two, and, two and a half billion that I mentioned earlier for the CLIPS program, that's going to, to smaller companies as well. So Astrobotic, uh, which is showing on your screen, is, is um, a company that is privately funded, has been working with NASA and developing a relationship over a number of years. And and is uh, uh, a key player in this CLIPS program that's going to allow them to um, allow NASA to deliver payloads to the moon for the first time in a very long time. And what this is going to be is, is uh, to test the capability, but also to lay the initial infrastructure that's going to allow for a habitat on the surface of the moon, which looks very similar to, let's say, the space station that it, you know, as it is today, with a rotating crew of people that are there on a sustained basis, and we have a continuous human presence there.